Greetings! Today I have another piece of uh, electronics related uh, item uh, to have a look at and take apart. This is a sub one pound item. Um, what it is, it's a power supply tester. So ATX power supply tester you in, in theory uh, what this is meant for. You want to check uh, if your power supply in your computer is working when it's when something's not working you want to eliminate the first uh, thing you should check voltages so yeah the idea of this is conveniently plug in uh, uh, your 20 or 24 pin connectors or a serial ATA hard drive uh, individual pins or whatnot uh, and it will it shall it shall tell you whether whether you've got all the rails plus 12, 3.3, standby, blah blah blah, you get the idea. So as I said, this is a sub one pound item. Um, I mainly bought this out of curiosity. I mean, if um, if I was uh, if I was to assume what a power supply tester would be, um, it would be uh, a little micro, uh, some uh, window comparators set to maybe I don't know um, five percent or two percent or WAP one percent either over or under um, for each individual rail, and um, that will tell you whether yeah your your voltages are good or your voltages are not good. Um, yeah, let's see. I've got I've got a feeling that this magnific magnificent magnificent. Uh, piece of uh, test equipment from People's Republic of China uh, which by the way on the <laughs> on the background image of this uh, they've got a rocket launch uh, yeah uh, which is absolutely related to this uh, of course um, surprisingly not much uh, Chinglish on this yeah, but this is always entertaining Product introduction. The power supply tester is a robust voltage tester for PC power supply. ATX, BTX and ITX compliant power supplies can be tested indicate the status of the voltage. The PC SPS is suitable for the ambitious hobby user as well as for a quick functional check in specialized trade okay uh, not exactly right but not uh, I've seen far worse um, yeah we get a picture of a rocket launch and a blister pack and the actual item in question so it's, it's ABS plastic it's I guess adequate uh, to what it is uh, quite rough molding so a lot of sharp edges and whatnot um, and I don't want to ruin the surprise I don't want to look through the holes inside let's have a look so four screws on the back let's have a look at those window comparators in here that would indicate whether your supply uh, supply rail uh, is within uh, within the range of what it should be. Two more. What we've got here, ladies and gentlemen, is an example of what not to do and what not to use. So, 
we've got sockets for all various uh, PC supply connectors and the serial auto one is uh, a standard thing it's just on PCB uh, trucks left and that not even uh, gold plated yeah, they're just tin coated <clears throat> please do have a look at this uh, the quality of the soldering it's this is just horrible uh, but yeah okay it makes connection so yeah let's leave it at that uh, by the way there is all of those connectors are not uh, held in place by any uh, anything other than uh, its own pins so for example with this horrible soldering you know sometimes you get a hard drive uh, plug that is quite stiff quite tight you plug it in um, you do risk when you pull it out uh, to pull it out with the pin or the whole socket all together uh, because those joints will give in at some point we've got a 5 watt, uh, 5 watt uh, 15 ohm resistor uh, in the middle and the purpose of that is to provide a little bit of load probably on the 5 volt rail um, to the power supply because uh, the, those do require a little bit of uh, load before they start operating properly so they've uh, put just put a resistor in here uh, and what we've got is just a, a bunch of resistors and a bunch of LEDs on each rail so you would think that yeah okay uh, if you connect a LED with a resistor to rail it will tell you uh, whether the power is there and that's all good but it's not because it's it's not testing anything uh, as it indicates on the front it's a power supply tester so yes it will tell you whether there is voltage on the uh, on the rail but it will not tell you if for example your plus 12 volts due to um, some cups being dried out in the, in the power supply if it's only plus 8 volt it will the LED will probably just not it would light up just as bright as it would with uh, with 12 volts and you would using this you would assume that yeah power supply is not the problem and you'd move on to uh to troubleshoot further uh by the way you know those uh leads over here from the uh power resistor uh are left long it's it's a feature i guess uh just so you can have longer leads on on the back lucky enough there is nothing for them uh there isn't much uh, of anything else in here so they can't touch on something and short something out uh, yeah so oh, surprisingly there is a footprint for a capacitor in here um, but it has not been fitted in this model now getting back to the way this functions in in the little of uh, what it does now if your power supply has gone faulty and the fault in the unlikely event of the fault being such that your for example your plus 3 volts becomes plus 12 volts or plus 18 volts or uh, I'm not sure how likely that is but let's say that one of the rails has failed in a way that the voltage has gone higher than what it uh, what it should be instead of being lower which is quite more common but let's say the voltage has gone uh, higher you plug this in and yes it will show yes there are voltages uh, on the rails and you would plug in your supply to the motherboard and you fry your 300 pound processor yay amazing piece of useless thing I mean yeah okay it costs one pound but it it wouldn't cost much much to actually make it somewhat usable so just put a few op amps in here uh, window comparators uh, just do pass or fail if it's within I don't know for example 5 volts make it minor uh, from 4.8 to 5.2 volts and not light up if it's anywhere 
uh, anywhere within that range or in an advanced model you could have a two color LED for example and turn red if it goes uh, if the voltage is there but it's outside of range or whatnot and yeah this this is this is just a heap of junk useless um, this instead of testing it it just basically tells you yes there is a voltage uh, but across all the fo possible faults with a power supply this uh, this will not do anything for most part of it it will just light up all the LEDs and that will be it so yeah junk anyways if you liked this uh, quick video or any other one or not please click subscribe uh, or like and that's it thanks for watching take care